Hey, what's up guys? Brandon Lee. We've got a special Black Friday episode for you guys today, and I'm going to be sharing details of a mini PC that was sent to me from Ace PC, and you will actually be able to benefit from a discount code that will be in the description of this video. This Ace PC Pico Box mini PC powered by the Intel N100, I think is a very interesting option as I want to share with you guys a bit more about that in this video. So please do stick around and let's dive in to this Pico Box mini PC. If you guys are like me, you are starting to look at the Black Friday deals that you want to take advantage of in 2023. Now, many of you may be looking at all of the awesome mini PC deals that are to be found on the internet, especially Amazon, and no doubt we're going to see quite a few more deals coming over the next few days. However, I want to introduce you guys to the Ace PC Pico Box mini PC that's powered by the N100 Intel processor. Now, you're not going to win any virtualization wars with this mini PC. It is quite impressive for a mini PC that can literally fit in your pocket and it also has dual one gig networking and the option to have either eight or 16 gigs of DDR4 memory as well as an M2 SSD slot. Now, this particular mini PC is a real tech based chipset for the network LAN adapters. Now what that means is you're not going to be able to use the native network adapters out of the box with VMware ESXi. However, it does have three USB 3 ports. And what that means is you can actually take advantage of the USB network adapter natively found in VMware ESXi 8.x. Now that's really good news since we can buy a cheap network adapter, plug it in, and we're off to the races with VMware ESXi. However, I know some will not want to do that, and it is a bummer not to be able to use the onboard networking with the unit, but just keep that in mind. If you're running something like Proxmox, KVM, XCPNG, it's going to see those network adapters right out of the box with the built-in Linux network drivers found in those distros. So here we go. This is the Pico Box Mini PC from Ace PC. It sports the Intel N100 processor. It has four cores, but only four threads. So you're not getting hyper threading out of this processor. So it only has the real four cores with the N100. Now, if I turn around to the back, you can see the dual Realtek one gig network adapters. So keep that in mind. These are not two and a half gig, which I know many are looking for with the transition over to two and a half gig networking. If you're like me, you've picked up a two and a half gig network switch. So you want to take advantage of those. So keep that in mind with this little box. But Guys, look at the footprint of this mini PC. This thing is super tiny and literally, I know I'm holding it close to the camera, it makes it larger, but literally on my shoulder, it's just like a hockey puck almost. Uh, very, very small. And it has the uh, three HDMI outputs. Uh, if I turn around to this side, you've got the three USB 3.0 uh, USB A connections that you can take advantage of. And again, I use this for something like this, which is a uh, Realtek based, ironically Realtek based USB network adapters work with ESXi. So I've got this uh, Anchor, I think is the brand that I snagged on Amazon, it's Realtek based, and simply plug it into a USB adapter and you're good to go to install VMware ESXi 8. This little guy though, I think is a great starter home lab. If you want to get into home labbing, you don't want to have just a significant investment in hardware. You don't want to have a ton of space allocated to a home lab. And you want to take advantage of just a few other things that you may already have. You may have an HDMI monitor that you can just easily plug in. You've got a wealth of USB connections. And this thing is super quiet. And it can definitely be well suited for a dual purpose room, your bedroom, an office somewhere else. You're not going to have like a screaming server uh, that is really loud that you're having to deal with. 
this thing is is super quiet. So I think uh, it's really good for what it is. And you know, as long as you keep that in perspective, again, you're not going to be able to run 6400 virtual machines off of this little box. But what you can do is run anywhere in the neighborhood of five or eight virtual machines and you'll probably be happy with this. Uh, one thing about it, this is, uh, it's not metal, but it is well-made plastic. It looks like brushed aluminum with the finish. Anyway, guys, this is a decent little unit. All right, guys, so let me show you what this PicoBox Mini Intel N100 Mini PC is capable of. And it's actually fairly impressive what you can do with this hardware in this Pico box. So I want to show you guys what this looks like with VMware ESXi installed. And as you guys can see, I'm running 8.0 update one. I need to throw update two on there, but update one runs as you would expect flawlessly, no issues so far that I have seen. So as you guys can see, it correctly identifies the Intel N100. We got four cores per socket, one socket. This unit that I am testing with, it only has the eight gigs of memory. And as you guys are going to see, it definitely is stretching it the number of workloads that I have running. So I've got 10 Ubuntu 2204 LTS virtual machines running on this PicoBox Mini N100. And as you guys can see, the CPU is getting hammered quite a bit. I am encouraged by the fact that we don't see just a solid line 100% CPU usage. It is definitely heavily using the CPU, but it's not just completely maxed out. As you guys can see, we've got spikes on a number of the cores, but we don't have all four cores maxed at the same time. So it's really getting utilized. But again, this is actually sustaining the workloads. But I'm at that point where with 10 virtual machines, and these are actually configured with two CPUs and a gig of memory. And I'm going to show you guys that the VM is responsive and it is running without issue. So as I get logged in, we can see we've got standard Ubuntu 2204 virtual machine. Take a look. Here we've got Ubuntu 2204-3 LTS. It is responsive, as you guys can see. That is the case with all of the virtual machines that I currently have running on this Pico box. This is awesome to me when you can take as small of a mini PC as the Pico box really is with the N100. But I actually have been impressed with the N100 and a couple of other mini PC units that I have reviewed. It actually carries virtualization workloads very well. And the other unit, if I had more memory in this particular unit, I would not hesitate at all to uh, clone up another eight virtual machines. I think we could get to 15, 18 virtual machines with seeing some paging going on there. Um, with 16 gigs of memory. So guys, that was it. The Ace Magic PicoBox Mini PC powered by the Intel N100 processor. I really like this little mini PC. I think if you keep in perspective with what it can do in terms of virtualization, using it as a starter home lab, it's very cost effective. It's quiet, the footprint is very small, and you're able to run in the neighborhood of eight virtual machines with eight gigs of memory and with 16 gigs of memory. I would say you could definitely double that, or if you're running a, a more of a healthy Docker host uh, using maybe like eight gigs of memory, then you can have that virtual machine as well as maybe six to eight other virtual machines running. So I think it would be a great way to get into running a home lab, but not a significant investment just keep in mind, if you're wanting to experiment with VMware ESXi, you will need to snag a USB network adapter as the onboard Realtek adapters are not compatible with VMware ESXi 8.x. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. Please do subscribe, like the video, share with me in the comments what you guys are snagging for this Black Friday 2023. Take advantage of the coupon code in the description for this PicoBox mini PC, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.